But I personally thought that I wanted to understand this matter better. Now, as I've said, I'm, I'm only a fool. So <clears throat> now I've got all these difficult problems of reading all these complicated things that you scientists write about. It's language I don't understand. It is indeed now my great pleasure and honor and my great expectations which then they will get. And I <clears throat> I'm somewhat embarrassed to say that I discovered that there had been a controversy around these matters for quite some time. I honestly didn't know. That perhaps I should have allowed the wise men to speak because I'm a fool. Because indeed when eminent scientists said, you have spoken out of ten. It was difficult not to think that indeed one was a fool. But I'm no longer so sure about that, given that so many eminent people responded to the invitation of a fool to come to this important meeting. Marks the first day of the work of the International Presidential AIDS Review Panel. I mean, we do not know what is the cause of AIDS. At least the, con the conventional view has not produced anything. It has never cured one single AIDS patient in 18 years. And it has is now the cause or the reason for 200,000 people getting ACT, which is an extremely toxic drug. The most toxic, that one of the most toxic drugs that medicine has ever come up with. I don't know much about Alzheimer's, do we? <laughs> uh, what I'm trying to say is that, frankly, I don't care what causes anything. What I do care about is what can we do about stopping it. We know that the drugs actually work very well in people who are very sick. We don't know more than that. We know that safer sex seems to reduce transmission rates. We know that there is a much higher rate of female to male transmission in Africa than in Europe and America. We'd like to know why. The answer to that question would be astonishingly important. <laughs> Yeah.